I can tell jokes on weed. Don't get it twisted. I can fucking smoke a joint and come out here and tell jokes because I practice that shit, right? That's state-specific learning. But sometimes... <laughs> oh, so people went to Davis. So I took Charles Turk. But sometimes... <laughs> That's like a super local joke right there. <laughs> but if there's hash involved, it, I get rambly, right? Hash makes me ramble like an old hippie. You ever hang out with old hippies? Those cats digress. <laughs> right? Shit gets tangential, you know what I mean? When you ask him how to make a pie, he'll tell you how to grow a tree and shit. I'm like, Oh, you want my pie recipe? Uh, yeah, all right, you know what? Yeah, okay, we've been friends long enough. All right, listen, uh, the first ingredient is love. <laughs> I know, I know it sounds corny, but people forget, if you don't start with love, it's never gonna taste right. Love is always the first thing you put into it. So it's love, and it's two cups of apples. I like a Fuji apple, because they're juicy, but they don't make your crust soggy, and also it's a Japanese apple, which just reminds me of the Asian birthplace of all apples, which is Kazakhstan on the China-Russia border. They still have wild apple orchards out there. I actually ate a wild apple once, because I had followed... <laughs> I have followed the Silk Road on my vision quest after college, and I remember <laughs> sitting in a hut with my friend Erder, and he's a Uyghur, which is not a white black person, as you might think, but it's a Muslim sect. It's like U-Y-G-H-U-R, so they're having some problems right now, but we had this hash, man. We're sitting in this tent. He had this hash. It was fucking delicious. It was the second best hash I ever had. The best hash, of course, is the hash you collect off of the thighs of the virgins after they run naked through the marijuana fields two days before the harvest. But it's hard to find a virgin out here in Sacramento. But he had this hash that was just so delicious. It was crumbly and kind of spicy. It was redolent of cinnamon. Ah, two tablespoons cinnamon. <laughs> You mix that with the apples. It just went on and on and on. Follow me. I want to give you these seeds. I got them from my friend Running Bear. I met him at a rainbow gathering in 1982 in Wyoming. We stayed up all night on mescaline and psilocybin, and we hybridized a new form of wheat, right? So it keeps your crust flaky, but it's gluten-free. So grow some of them, but save the rest, because the government is fucking with the food supply. So hold on to these. What are your intentions with this pie? It affects the nutmeg. It just went on. It took me three years to get that recipe, and then another six years to make the pie. But then when I did, like, right, I was ready. My tree had grown and borne fruit. Some of you are still with me completely. Some of you just looking at me like trout right now. Talk about your dick or something. <laughs> it's huge. <laughs>